Scene 1, I am a spokesperson for the election office. I'll talk to a voter about why and how we check election results. How to get reforms. Observe, comment, campaign. We did a risk-limiting audit. The risk-limiting audit confirmed the results of the election. I'm a voter. I'm glad you're limiting risk, but how was the election at risk? Without checking, election totals could have errors or be hacked. I thought voting machines were safe because they never connect to the Internet. Staff at the manufacturer or election office can accidentally let errors or malware get into election machines. Errors and malware are bad. Researchers have hacked every kind of election machine they've had access to. Hacking is bad. Updates for each election can put hacks and errors into election machines. I cannot say updates are bad. I know you have to update the candidates for each election. And computers need security updates. With thousands of election offices, and dozens of candidates in each, I understand there can be errors. The Brennan Center found hundreds of errors nationwide. Okay, now you showed me why I need to worry. What can I do? Go to the election office or our webcam, and see how we process the election. If you see mistakes, tell a supervisor. In many states, a campaign or a group can do additional checks. Can anyone watch? Rules depend on the state. There's a link to state rules and citizen groups at votewell.net. I'll watch at least once. And I'll find one of the groups in my state. If you want to be more involved, volunteer for a candidate you like, and ask the campaign to monitor and check how my office processes the ballots. Or ask someone you know to run for office, or run yourself. I'll look for a campaign I can help. You said you check the results of the election. Do you check all the contests on our ballots? Is that expensive? We only checked one or two contests. Does checking a couple of contests show that the other contests are right? Different software errors could affect each contest. So we don't claim to have checked the other contests. You audited because you thought results could be wrong. Do you worry about wrong results in all the other contests? Some contests are very close. Our audit system is expensive on close contests, so we don't check them, unless someone pays for a recount. Does the state tell you what to check? The state told us to check the outcomes in just one or two contests. Well I worry about all the contests, especially the local ones that control my schools and law enforcement. Yes, all contests matter. We do test all the election machines before the election. That sounds good. How do you test machines before the election? We call it a logic and accuracy test. We create test ballots with votes in every contest. We marked the votes on these test ballots, so we know what the results should be. We run these test ballots through every election machine. If a machine gives wrong results, we repair the machine and test again. Great. So you know the machines work before the election. Remember when Volkswagen cars had low pollution and emission tests, but high pollution on the road? The car computers could tell when it was a test. Can election machines recognize the test deck, from its size, or date? We have about the same number and type of test ballots each election, and the election machines do have internal clocks to know what day it is. So a hacked machine might know when it's a test. The test is primarily to check for our programming errors or mechanical problems. I'm glad you do it. 
It still seems important to check the real ballots from the actual election were tallied right. Can you scan the ballots to give anonymous copies to the parties and public? Then they can check all the tallies? Yes, election machines scan all the ballots. And yes, more and more places give copies of the anonymous scanned ballots to the public. If all states published anonymous ballots, more people could check and have confidence in the results. Do say, trust but verify. Don't say, why did hackers elect those people? Scene 2, I am from another election office. I'll talk to a voter about hand counting and deterrence. Big samples being more reliable than small. Using and checking electronic copies of ballots. Election machines counted all our ballots, batch by batch, and we hand counted 2% of the batches to check the election machines. What is a batch? A batch can be the ballots from a polling place, or a few hundred mailed ballots which were scanned as a batch. So if you had 40,000 ballots, in batches of 400, that's about 100 batches. Yes, and we hand counted 2%, that's 2 batches. What can you learn from 2 batches? Here's an example. Suppose a scanner error or hacker changed 10 of the 100 batches. They might shift 100 ballots per batch from one candidate to another with no one noticing. So your example switches 100 ballots in each of 10 batches. That changes 1000 ballots, which can take 1000 votes from one person to add 1000 votes to another. That would reverse the winning margin by 2000 votes. Our audit of two batches has a 19% chance of catching them. This will deter people from trying. If they get caught, they'll go to jail. The risk of arrest isn't a big deterrent. People already find occasional errors. People explain them as accidents, like misprinted ballots, and software errors. Well, I agree it's hard to prove something's a hack, not an accident. Even if a hack is ever proven, and someone is convicted, penalties are too small to deter a serious hacker, 0 to 21 months of prison, and a $2,000 to $75,000 fine. I didn't know penalties were so light. Still, if we catch problems, we do correct them even if no one gets convicted. Yes, I'm glad you do check and correct problems you find. You said checking two batches had a 19% chance of finding the problem in your example. We need something better than a system with 81% chance of missing the problem. How can we do better? We can spend more to hand count 20 batches instead of two. When a problem happens in 10% of batches, like my example, we need to hand count 20 batches to have a 90% chance of finding the problem. Some people like hand counting and would be happy to see you hand count 20 batches, or even more. Other people think it would be too slow and expensive. Is there another way? Election machines scan all ballots. We can put those scans online, so the parties and public can check all contests on all ballots. They can check by hand or by computer. I like that. So the parties and public can pay for all the checks they want. Can we trust those electronic scans that the parties and public are checking? We can also hand check some of those scans against the paper ballots to be sure the scans are trustworthy. Do the scan ballots show how someone voted? No. Ballots are anonymous. Even so, 
if state law restricts ballot copies, we might be able to share copies under a non-disclosure agreement. That would be cheaper than checking all contests yourself. Do say, we're open to new ways. Don't say, we've always done it this way. Tradition. Remember, why check election results? To catch and correct mistakes. To protect elections from false charges. How can we check election results? Public can go watch all steps. Release scanned ballots to parties and the public. Join a group in your state. A list of groups working for better elections is at votewell.net.